following breaking news right now on the coronavirus. Connecticut's positivity rate has surged to 6.1%. That is the highest we have seen since June 1st. It also crosses the all-important 5% mark. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell joins us live now. And Matthew, what does all of this mean for our reopening process? Well, Aaron, it is threatening it because for the first time we heard the governor say if this continues upwards and there's indications that it will, we could be seeing a statewide rollback. As of tonight, though, we are still on the town by town basis. The red alert towns have climbed from 19 to 30. That means there are 15 or more positive cases per 100,000 people. We're also seeing 53 towns in that orange zone where there are 10 to 14 cases per 100,000. Now, the state has recommended that these red towns roll back to phase two, but only one, Wyndham, has actually done it. And we talked with towns saying this really won't work on a town by town basis because of people simply traveling. Today, in another new development, the governor says if this continues, the rollback to phase two may no longer just be a recommendation. Something more strict might be in store. But if we find out on Monday that this um, hockey stick acceleration of the infections is continuing and most of these towns say, um, I can't do it on my own, uh, I, perhaps I prefer having um, the governor of the state step in and uh, we would step in and make sure that all the red alert turns did, towns did the safe thing. So as far as a statewide rollback, there's no date or positivity rate attached to that. This is just something that the governor is putting on everyone's radar right now. But the biggest takeaway this evening is that the state is heading in the wrong direction. Much more on the outlook for the rest of the year at 6. But for now, live here at the Digital Desk, Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.